Let's talk about UFOs. I'm pretty excited about this. And for whatever reason, nobody else seems to be talking about it. But let me go ahead and read through it. According to the New York Times, the Pentagon's UFO unit is set to make some of its uh, findings public, which includes sightings of unexplained aerial vehicles. Former Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid believes that crashes of objects of unknown origin may have occurred and the retrieved material should be studied. More importantly, Reid said the government has the parts. After looking into this, I came to the conclusion that there were reports, some were uh, substantive and some not, that there were actual materials that the government and the private sector had in their possession, Reid said in an interview with the Times. The report added, Pentagon officials will not discuss the program, which is not classified but deals with classified matters, Yet it appeared last month in a Senate committee report outlining spending on the nation's intelligence agencies for the coming year. The report said the program, the Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon Task Force, was to standardize collection and reporting on sightings of unexplained aerial vehicles and was to report at least some of its findings to the public within 180 days after passage of the Intelligence Authorization Act. Um, this is insane. Here's, uh, here's some quotes. Eric W. Davis, an astrophysicist who worked with the Pentagon UFO program, now with the Aerospace Corporation, gave a classified briefing to a Defense Department agency in March about retrievals from, get this, off-world vehicles not made on this earth. What in the world is going on here where this is not a big deal? For years and years, we have been told that UFOs and aliens and whatever are not real, that we don't have to worry with it, whatever. Now, obviously... If you got a working brain and you use any kind of logic at all, you would understand that the idea that we are the only beings in this galaxy, in this universe, that's just an absurd idea. Obviously, we're here, so obviously something else could be here, right? That would make sense. But we've been told forever that aliens don't exist and that UFOs aren't real and that what people are seeing is actually incredibly well explained and you uh, yeah it looks like this but it's really this there are friggin aliens bringing spaceships and ufos and and non-earth vehicles made of crap that you can only find in avengers movies that have been on this planet and they've got the parts they've got them and they're going to release findings to the public and nobody wants to talk about this what planet am I on right now? I mean, this is just absurd. So, I'm, I'm excited about it. Uh, it says, while retired officials involved with the effort, including Harry Reid, the former Senate Majority Leader, hope the program will seek evidence of vehicles from other worlds, its main focus is on discovering whether another nation, especially any potential adversary, is using breakout aviation technology that could threaten the United States. If anybody has seen Spider-Man like whatever the first one was in the, uh, in the MCU, if anybody has seen that, where they are using parts of an alien spaceship to make weapons that could destroy things, that's what we're discussing. They're saying that the parts are there, and we're trying to figure out who all has them. This is mind-blowing stuff. Nobody wants to talk about it. I got, I got guys on Twitch going back and forth about a damn Rockies and A's game, and there's friggin' alien weapons and stuff on Earth, and nobody wants to talk about it. Michael and Ben, I love you. <laughs> let's go back through. Uh, let's go back through what's actually happening here on the chat. Uh, Michael said, uh, "Let's see, six players opting out." Damian said, "Habib versus McGregor two would be fire, especially after the last fight. I can see McGregor winning." Uh, yeah, absolutely. I think Habib is the best fighter in UFC. I don't think it's close. I think he's better than John Jones. I think whatever, but I mean. That's the thing with a striker. All you need is one punch. Nuclear Skull said UFOs equal watch beyond majestic. It states that nuclear subs are actually spacecrafts. Yeah, I can believe that. Uh, ben said seven to five A's tonight. Had to think about it. Nuclear Skull said another good documentary. Unacknowledged with Dr. Greer. Both very eye-opening. I will take that advice. I'll, I'll check that out. No, ma'am said, I think it'd be more crazy that we are the only world with, uh, with life. Yeah, absolutely. It's insane to think that. It's insane to think that. Uh, ben said, as long as they don't kill us, I'm fine. Damien said, damn it, E.T. That's pretty good. <laughs> uh, and now now a little discussion about the Rockies and A's tonight. 
Uh, Michael said, not sure the Rockies can score five. Ben said, our starter is on and off. I think he'll be off tonight. Will Gomez jumps in on Periscope. Good to see you, Will. Need to confirm if Michael Jackson and that orange guy in office are really aliens. Um, <laughs> you're trying to kill me today. I swear to God. Uh, ben said, Elon Musk is an alien. Um, Michael said, the Rockies could use some alien help. And now we got Jose jumping in, tossing in all of the alien emojis. You got to love